Hello, it's me, Dr. Daniel, and after this video, a tiger won't spin your head like this. So, what exactly is vertigo? It's simply the sensation a world around you is spinning. If it involves your eyes as well, that's nystagmus on top of vertigo. Now the patient comes in and tells you the world is spinning. Most appropriate way to determine the cause of vertigo is by simply asking your patient, is there hearing loss and ringing of bells inside your ear, or there's only vertigo? Vertigo with hearing loss and tinnitus means pathology is within ears of the patient. If it happened in not so distant past, it can be simply be an ear infection, labyrinthitis. If it's an old problem, it's most probably Meniere's disease. Now another patient comes and has vertigo, hearing loss, and ataxia. Vertigo is world spinning, whereas ataxia is a neuro neurological sign indicating gait abnormality, and this patient has acoustic neuroma. Now we'll move to patients that presents with vertigo but no signs of ear pathology. This means the problem is at a higher processing levels, that is central nervous system. It could be stroke of posterior circulation, it could be autoimmune destruction of the sheath protecting CNS, or it could be a drug side effect that's preventing from formation of normal sheath to protect CNS. Now the most benign and transient cause of vertigo that also occurs without hearing loss and tinnitus, it's benign positional vertigo, it's transitional and usually resolves on its own. So here's a little summary, vertigo with hearing loss and tinnitus, if it's acute it's labyrinthitis, if it's chronic Meniere's disease, and if it involves ataxia it could be acoustic neuroma. Vertigo without hearing loss and tinnitus, most benign is BPV. If it's a stroke, CNS stroke. If it's an autoimmune disease, multiple sclerosis. Or if it's a drug side effect, it could be phenytoin toxicity. Thank you.